Hi, I'm Scott, this is Synth Stuff. Today we're gonna to be talking about cleaning synths, how to keep your synths clean, and a secret weapon that I use to clean especially old synths. Coming up next. <music> I know I said I wasn't going to be doing a video this week, but this is just a short one, and besides, it helps me procrastinate from having to deal with this nightmare. Anyway, so cleaning scents. I actually covered this in the video that I did where I was restoring the Korg Poly 6. If you haven't seen that, I did a whole uh, six-part series on restoring uh, and fixing and improving, updating uh, an old Korg Poly 6. So the Poly 6, when I got it, was filthy, and I needed to clean it. The, the key bed had like grime on it, the case was filthy, I mean, it was 40 plus years old, and I wanted to share a secret about how I go about cleaning the grime off those synths without actually damaging the, the synth itself. Now, obviously, when I did the Korg, I had it apart. So I could easily just spray a cleaner on there and wipe it down. But what are you actually going to use to actually clean it? Some of you may know, most of you probably won't, that I actually run another YouTube channel called Goldwing Docs. And the reason for that is because I have been involved in Goldwing motorcycles for a long, long time. I've been riding motorcycles for 35 years. And I happen to run Goldwing Docs, which is one of the largest Goldwing forums on the internet. As such, I have knowledge of a very specific cleaning product that works extremely well on motorcycles and also on synthesizers. That product is this. It's called Pro Honda Spray Cleaner and Polish. This is a universal cleaner protectant that is intended for use on motorcycles. It's unique in that you can actually use it on any surface, chrome, aluminum, metal, steel, stainless, plastic, acrylic, anything, any surface, it works on everything. It's an incredible cleaner that will dissolve proteins, bugs, that sort of thing, grime, oil, cigarette residue. So basically you spray it on, let it sit for a minute or two, wipe it off, you're done. It's great for motorcycles because instead of hosing down and soaping up your motorcycle and getting uh, water where you don't want it to get, you can just spray this on the surface, wait, use a towel, wipe it off. And it works as a polish as well. It leaves a protective coating on the surface that, that not only beads water, but uh, protects the paint and whatever surface you put it on. This is such a great product that, yes, it's, an, it's actually marketed by Honda, but if you go into motorcycle shops all over, it doesn't matter if it's Kawasaki or Yamaha, you will find the text using this to clean the motorcycles. I use this for everything. I've used it on cars, motorcycles, and yes, I use it on synthesizers. It works incredibly well on synthesizers because you can spray it on the synthesizer, let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute, use a clean uh, cotton towel and just wipe it off and any grime or filth that's on the synthesizer comes off and you will see the towel ends up absolutely filthy. When I did the, the key bed on the Poly 6, I sprayed this across the keys, let it sit, and when I wiped it off, the, the towel came off, it was absolutely black, and the key bed ended up looking brand new, nice and shiny. And that's the other thing that this does, it is a polish, so it does leave that protective coating that shines up your synthesizer. So you spray it on, wipe it off, and the synthesizer looks shiny and brand new, as you can see with the panel I did with the core. Now, for a synthesizer like this, I am not going to spray it across here because you don't want it getting into all the buttons and controls. It's safe to spray on a screen, but again, I'm not gonna spray it directly on the screen. For a synthesizer like this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it on a towel, spray it on the towel, and then clean it on. So. Obviously the panels on my synthesizers don't get really dirty because they're covered up when they're not being used, but the key beds definitely get dirty because you got greasy fingers or whatever. You're constantly using key beds and your hands are touching it. The keys do get filthy and it's perfectly safe to do a light spray across the key bed and then just use a cotton towel just to wipe off 
each of the keys and you will see all the filth and everything on the key bed actually comes off and the key bed will be shiny and new looking when you're finished. So I will leave a link to this in the description below for, for use on a motorcycle where a can of like this is probably going to be used up to, to completely clean a motorcycle. Um, this will last you for years cleaning synthesizers because obviously you're not going to use anywhere near uh, a can on cleaning a synthesizer. So yes, it's not cheap, but for uh, a synthesizer cleaning that one can is going to last you years, it's probably well worth the investment. I have told a couple of friends of mine who also have a lot of old synthesizers about this and they rave about it. They, they can't believe what a great job it does cleaning their synthesizer. So if you have dirty synthesizers, if you are restoring old synthesizers, for sure. Uh, and if you have synthesizers that you gig with, particularly if there's cigarette smoke in places uh, where you're gigging or being outside and there's dust and grit and grime and oil from your fingers, uh, this is really going to be your best friend. I use this all the time. I've been using it for years. It is just such a fantastic secret weapon for cleaning your synths. All right, that's all for today's video. I hope that is some help to you. If you do like what you saw, please click like, subscribe, click the little bell. Yeah, 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 I know. It really does help us out when you do that because it helps recommend us to other people like you who might be interested in what we're talking about. Synthesizers. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.